So the last step here is just to sew these buttons on. And for the black side, I've chosen this really pretty burgundy button, which I think looks fabulous. It's a great print on there. And then I'm going to put this on, on this side. So what I want to do, I'm going to find the middle of this. So to make sure that button's in, in the middle of the purse, not on the side. We don't want that. Let me just kind of fold it over and find the point where I want it. I want it to, you know, right there, right in the middle of that loop. So I want to just run this through, and I'm going to sew both of these buttons on at the same time because they're going to be on the same spot, just on different sides of the purse. So I got one started. I'm going to go to the other side and just go ahead and start sewing that one too. And yeah, you know, when you run it back through, you're sewing on this side. It's pretty simple. Then you go through on this side and you catch it again. And you're basically just going back and forth. You could sew them on one at a time if you want, but I found that when you do that, it's kind of difficult. It's hard to sew one button on at a time because the other one is in the way. So when I sew them on together, half the time. There we go. And sometimes I like to go around them a little bit if they're flat buttons. So we don't want the button falling off. That would be embarrassing. There we go. Okay. All I have to do is tie the knot on this little purse, on this button, and we're done. Make a knot. And we snip this thread, and I think we have a cute little purse. This is one side. This is how it will look. Very cute. Let me show you how it looks reversed out. <clears throat> you can do the same trick. Put your finger in. Push it in. Put your finger in. Just push it in. We'll flip that out. And you have an adorable little green purse from Recycled Curtain Fabric. Which I'm sure my niece is going to love this purse. It's definitely her.